You know, Minig and Klai Yisrael is to learn Pirkei Ovis between Pesach and Shavuos. There's usually six weeks, that's why Pirkei Ovis has six prokim. Originally it only had five prokim. Chazal added another parak, Kinyan Torah, said we should, every week we should have a limit of Pirkei Ovis. Chazal explained that it's a hachonah for Kabbalah Satayra, it's a prerequisite. We should also, besides learning Torah, we should also be able to perfect our midas, perfect our characters and be in, in, in preparation for Kabbalah Satayr. very first Mishnah begins, very, the very famous Mishnah, The beginning of the tradition of the giving over of the Torah, Moshe accepted the Torah, and he gave it over to Yeshua, Yeshua gave it to the Skenim, Skenim to the Nevi'im, and etc. And further, as the Mishnah continues with the, the first few generations of the Tanoim, the, the Rav Chaim Velozhna in the Sefer Ruach Chaim points out, as many of the other Mephoshim point out, that there's a difference between Moshe Kibel, Moshe accepted the Torah, and gave it to Yeshua. So Yeshua did not accept the Torah, and say that Moshe accepted the Torah, and Yeshua accepted, no. Moshe was Mechabal the Torah, Kibel Torah, and he gave it to Yeshua. So we see here there's a difference between the way Moshe got the Torah, and the way Yeshua got the Torah. Rav Chaim Velozhna gives several explanations, and one of the explanations that he gives is as follows. Gemara says in, in Tainus, Davzayin, that water, the Torah is compared to water. Just like water always goes to the lowest point possible, if you'll make a hole in the ground, water will, will dribble down all the way as far down as it can go. So too, Torah goes to the lowest possible place. What does it mean the lowest possible place? The most humble person is, that, is the person that, can, that, can, that, is the most, that is the most capable of accepting the Torah. He is more, more humble, he's more, more able to accept the Torah, more able to learn the Torah. Like the Pasuk says in Yeshaya, that at the end of the, end of the in the, in the loss of Lovay, the Chochma will be, Deo will be, Kemayim Liyam Mechasim, like the water covers the oceans. What does it mean like the water covers the oceans? If you go into the ocean, it goes deep, deep, deep to the depths of the ocean, and that's where the water goes. The water goes all the way, all the way down to the depths. That's what it means, Kemayim Liyam Mechasim. In the loss of Lovay, everybody will be on the level of being to, to accept the terror, just like the water covers even the depths of the oceans and the depths of the seas. So, so, so we see from here, says Rechaim Velozhna, that a prerequisite to being Mechabal, the Torah, is the, is the, is the Midah of Anova, the, 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 the Midah of humility. In fact, Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was looking for somebody to take him over, to take over Yeshua, the, Tam, the Targum Yerushalmi in the beginning of Pasha Shalach says, that when he added the, the letter Yeshua, Yiko Yeshiacha, there was the story of the Miraglim, but it was already the beginning of Yeshua being part of, 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 the, of the Messiah of the Torah, of Moshe giving over, it says over there that Moshe saw that Yeshua was humble. Moshe saw the, the, the Anova of Yeshua. We know already from Sukkim, Yeshua is the one that sat at the bottom of the mountain and waited for Moshe to come down. He was the one that was completely, uh, completely bottled to Moshe Rabbeinu, completely bottled to his Rebbe Moshe Rabbeinu. He had the meat of humility. But, like Chazal say, even Yeshua, Yeshua on his level, Yeshua Anovi on his level, but he was not on the level of Moshe Rabbeinu in terms of Anova, in terms of humility. Why? Because we know the famous Chazal, Pnei Moshe, Kepnei Chama, Pnei Yeshua, Kepnei Levana. The face of Moshe was like the sun, the face of Yeshua was like the moon. Explains from Chaim Velozhner. We know the story in Parshat Baal Yishcha, El Lodun Medad started saying prophecies, they started to prophesy. Yeshua couldn't handle it. Came to Moshe and said, Moshe, claim. I don't need Moshe, claim. You got to stop this. These two independent Nevi'im, we can't have this. You're the leader. You can't have these independent Nevi'im doing their own stuff. No. Moshe doesn't care. Why doesn't Moshe care? Because Moshe is like the sun, Yeshua is like the moon. By the Bria Salem, say Chazal, there was the, 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 the big, the big Ma'iris. So there was the sun and the moon. And the moon couldn't handle it. The moon said, there can be only one king. There can't be two kings. So Hashem said, okay, so you'll be smaller. So Yeshua, who couldn't handle Elder than Medad, was like the Levana. Yes, he was humble. But he was missing a tiny bit of humility. Moshe Rabbeinu had complete humility. That's why he's like the sun who didn't care. Let there be another moon. Let there be another Navi. Who cares? That was Moshe Rabbeinu. That's why Moshe Kibel says Rav Chaim Velozhner in its completion, in its totality. He was able to accept the Torah. Mi matana, nach, eh, mi, mi midbar matana, like Chazal say, from midbar matana, when a person makes himself like a midbar, that he has nothing in the world. He's completely, he considers himself like nothing. And Nachnu ma, like, like Moshe Rabbeinu said, I'm nothing. That's the person that can accept the Torah in its totality. Moshe Kibbal Torah, Misinai. Why Misinai? Like the famous Chazal say, Kodesh Baruch Hu found a low mountain, an empty mountain, not the biggest mountain. Har Sinai symbolizes that Torah always, always demands humility. In order to accept the Torah properly, it's not the, not the smartest person, not the greatest person who has the biggest, 
the biggest chelik in Torah, it's the, it's the humble person. It's the person who can show himself to be humble, humility, the honor of, he's one that's, that's why Moshe accepted the Torah in its totality. He gave it to Yeshua, Yeshua was also humble, Yeshua was, 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 a, was a very great leader, was a great, was a great Navi, but he wasn't at the level of a Navi like Moshe Rabbeinu. So that's why it's Misara Le Yeshua. As we prepare for Kabbalah Satara, we're perfecting all of our Midas and all the Mishnayis and Pirkei Ovis. We should also take a moment to think about the Mid of Anova, which is one of the hardest Midas in, in the Sefer Mesil Sesharim. It comes all the way at the end, right before Ruch HaKodesh. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable level to reach the level of, of, of true humility, true Anova. But the more a person works on it, the more he's be able to be Zeichet, to understand the Torah, to learn the Torah, and to be Mechabal the Torah. Good Shabbos.